Sahar joining us at the Property Investor Show at Excel in London. And we have come along to the Inspire Home Automation Stand. And I'm joined by Gavin. And Gavin, I thought it would be so good to come and talk to you because obviously, you know, we've got the energy crisis happening now. And uh, any landlord that has bills included like HMOs or holiday lets, that they're actually really, really worried about obviously their margins being slimmed by this. So how can Inspire Home Automation help? Good afternoon, Vanessa. Great, uh, great to be here. And yes, uh, I have HMOs myself, so I feel the pain. Uh, and I mean, I've heard 2,000% yes. in the last 12 months. Uh, so it's, that's pretty horrendous. But so Inspire, we do a smart thermostat, which is designed specifically for the HMO service accommodation Airbnb markets. So it, basically, the idea of it is just to prevent the excessive wastage. So we know. You know, I don't want to stereotype students, but they do tend to whack it up a bit and then go out and leave it on. So the Inspire system can effectively prevent uh, it being running 24 hours a day. Because obviously with the working from home or studying from home trend as well, people are spending a lot more time in their homes and this has had an impact on the energy use as well. So I think landlords that are, are, are just not doing anything about this, it's something they do need to pay attention to, isn't it? Certainly, yes, and I, I've seen the same. You've you've gone from having everyone at work every day to suddenly there's one or two people who are in the property all the time. Uh, so we, uh, so if you're doing a uh, a new HMO now, what we would highly recommend is to look at a zoned system, where you have one thermostat per bedroom. So then you have one person who's working from home all the time. They're just heating their room as opposed to the whole house. Well, I've learned something today then because I didn't know you could do that. That's brilliant. So we're talking smart technology here, aren't we? We certainly are, yes. It's, uh, so uh, a zone set up, it's, in, in the past it would be for larger, larger properties, but now with the current energy prices, it, it means it's, uh, it's worthwhile considering. And I certainly, personally, would consider it for any new, new HMO I did. Yes, no, I, I agree. It's it's very challenging for, for landlords that have energy bills included because there's not really too many solutions out there, is there? I mean, for instance, um, some of the comparison sites where you can change to a cheaper provider, they've, they've shut down because of this. So, you know, I expect you're very busy. Have you had a lot of interest at the show? We certainly have. It's been a really good show and it's actually good to get a bit more normality. Yes. It's nice to actually get out and about. Uh, but yes, no, we had a lot of lot of interest from across the board, really, HMOs and Airbnbs. Yeah. So for the Airbnb market, we go one step further, you can link our system into your booking system. Wow. So it will automatically turn the heating on an hour before your booking, and then when the booking's finished, it will automatically turn it off again. That's incredible. Uh, thank you. And, and tell us a little bit more then. Oh, we've yeah. got some demonstrations here. Bring this one over. So this, this is our new smart sensor. It uh, measures temperature and humidity. So humidity is useful if you've got tenants who uh, dry clothes on the radiators and don't open the windows. So humidity go up high, you can get mold growth, uh, which is obviously not good for a landlord. Uh, so this will notify you if that's happening and then you can send a, like a gentle email, just a, a gentle reminder, just you know, try and please ventilate when you're, when you're drying clothes. It's a whole new world to me. It's incredible. So can the landlord set, create the settings and then just leave it like that, that so the tenants can't be uh, changing the, the heating themselves? Uh, indeed. So normally you uh, would recommend you set it up. So for as a typical example, we've got some recommended landlord settings where it will come on in the morning yeah. and it will come on in the evening. Yeah. And then the rest of the time it will be on sort of low. Uh, but you've got someone working at home making this press a boost button and it will come on for one to two hours at 22 degrees, for example. Um, but after that time, it will go back to its normal schedule. So we did a survey of our existing customers about two years ago and the average was about £220 per year per thermostat. Uh, and obviously that was before gas prices went through the roof. <laughs> So if a landlord is interested in having uh, an Inspire smart thermostat fitted, is that, that some, you, you have a, a contractor that comes in and does that? Uh, we don't deal with fitting personally ourselves, right. but uh, if most, most landlords sort of know an electrician or a plumber that yeah. they use, and it's a, uh, it's a very standard fitting, same as any other thermostat. Right. But we have a brilliant customer service team 
So if they get any problems, give us a call and one of our technical people will sort of talk them through it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, Gavin. And it's so interesting to hear about these this smart technology and that it's actually kind of providing solutions for landlords in these very challenging times when they've got bills included. So I hope um, that if we get any questions on the thread, you'll be able to come and answer them. We certainly will, yes. Yeah. And thank you very much for your time. Awesome. Enjoy the rest of the show. Right. You too. Thank you.